as these dominoes start to fall, the power of the U.S. dollar starts to fall with it, right? Ahead of joining BRICS, Iraq issues ban on U.S. dollar transactions. The Interior Ministry of Iraq issued a ban on U.S. dollar transactions across the country. Iraq is among the 24 countries that have shown interest in uh, or interest to join the BRICS alliance and accept the new currency for global trade. The Iraqi government banned entities from initiating business transactions with the U.S. dollar earlier this week. Iraq remain or aims to control the fluctuating black black market exchange rate that has been plaguing the country for long enough. The development is also designed to strengthen the usage of the Iraq dinar, a uh, dinar, excuse me, in the nation's forex markets. The ministry aims to lower the difference between the official exchange rate offered by the government and the exchange rate that's thriving in the black markets. The move will reduce dependency on the U.S. dollar and bolster its native currency, the Iraqi dinar. The dinar is the national currency in Iraq. Your commitment to transact in it instead of foreign currencies boosts the country's sovereignty and economy. And this is going to be par for the course across the board, right? Because the next step to this is going to be the obvious. This sentiment surrounding utilizing the national currency in Iraq, as opposed to utilizing other foreign currencies, will be applied by countries, right? Sovereign countries to cryptocurrency as well. So you need to understand how that plays a part, right? And it's for, at least they come out and specifically state it, unlike the US does in a lot of situations. This is to boost each each individual currency within each individual sovereign country, right? So when you look at cryptocurrency, you have to understand that that's a threat to it as well. And so the illegalization of cryptocurrency in countries that are trying to basically boost their own economy or their own national currency will be a thing that we start to see more and more often, at least best I can tell. The ministry also pointed out that failing to do so will lead to criminal offenses with punishable crimes, right? And that can be applied to cryptocurrency as well as the U.S. dollar. The law will hold accountable anyone who attempts to undermine the Iraqi dinar and the economy at red. General Hussein al-Tamimi? Uh, <laughs> I know I said that wrong. Who heads the Operation Dictoriate? explained that offenders will be fined 1 million Iraqi dinars. Moreover, repeat offenders will attract harsher punishments, including double the fine with a year's imprisonment. If the violator repeats it, he will face an imprisonment penalty of up to one year plus $1 million in Iraq, uh, for, uh, Iraq dollars for the financial fine. In case of a third violation, that penalty will be doubled and will have the business license turned, he said. So they are also aiming to join BRICS. Iraq is looking to join the BRICS bloc in a move to end reliance on the U.S. dollar. The nation is ready to accept the new currency to settle cross-border transactions. The next BRICS summit will be held in Cape Town, South Africa in August of 2023. Wow, this is going to get really interesting too. August of 2023, if you guys aren't aware, is turning out to be, it's going to be a really interesting time, right? We're going to be kind of in the mid-summer for Bitcoin hash rate. We have the new Caspa miner from Bitmain uh, slated for or for delivery in August as well. And then we're going to have this BRIC summit. So tune back in in August because it's going to be uh, lit to say the least. Around 19 countries have both formally and informally requested to join the alliance reported Bloomberg. If more countries join BRICS, the expansion of BRICS plus will only hurt the prospects of the U.S. dollar. Also, if the yet-to-be-released BRICS currency grows stronger, it could ring the death uh, the death knell for the USD. Read here to know what could happen to the American economy if BRICS currency becomes the global reserve. We've talked about that before, but if you want me to go in depth on that in an individual video, let me know in the comment section. Thanks for checking out this clip from the Crypto Mining Show. You can check out the full episode here or more crypto content down here. Also, I'd like you to check out my Locals 
page at sonofatech.locals.com where you can become a member for free or choose to be a $5 a month supporter that unlocks additional content.